guys and welcome back to hopefully what I would like to call an educational video today as you can see here we're taking a look at the Black Ops 3 uh, beta and pretty much I'm, I'm gonna be showing you guys some of the things that I find absolutely hilarious about this game yes and I understand there's gonna be some crybabies that are gonna say beta is beta or beta is beta but the truth is no it's not so where, do, where, where, where am I gonna start how about hello and welcome to Titanfall 2 most people are like this isn't Titanfall wrong it is this is exactly Titanfall how can I say this ready meet the Titans you guys think I'm kidding right I'm not meet the Titans Meet the Titans. This is exactly what these guys are. They're Titans with unique abilities that regenerate every two minutes. That's all they are. They're just Titans. Gravity spikes. Sparrows, which is a crossbow. Uh, a bow, sorry. Uh, Tempest. War Machine. And the rest are all locked. Uh, again, the unlock token system really try hard really still that's exactly what these are these are your titans these are your avatars you go to your create class now if this is set so far in the future why is there a fucking AK-47 shouldn't this be in a museum if this is set so far in the future why the fuck is there an AK-47 I don't care if you call it the AK-1, I don't care if you call it the AK-1000. It's still an arcade weapon compared to some of the other futuristic weapons. Now everybody knows that the M8A7 is basically just a G36 reskin. That's all it is. They've taken existing guns that they have. There's the M4. This thing is a turd of a gun. Trust me, just don't, don't bother with that gun. It's too slow. That one is... Stick a good scope, uh, stick a decent scope on it, and configure it to be a long, uh, a long shooting semi-auto, and then tap fire it, because it's the only way you're going to get to use it. So let's take a look at what weapons there is. Let's take a look at the SMGs, shall we? Okay. P90. Hmm. MTAR of some sort. What is with all the vertical loading magazines? See, what is with all? The fucking vertical loading magazines. Did you guys decide that, oh, let's just use one source of an animation? This is a, an 11 gig download. And even the textures don't, don't even look that good. And of course, you know, you got a whole bunch of... Uh, the, uh, sorry, yeah, that's the G36 reskin, but it's a burst fire, I believe. Shotguns. Yes. Shotguns are broken in this version of the beta they're all one shot kills no matter what range light machine guns these things are a fucking joke they have practically no damage I hit one guy nine times with this exact LMG he turns around and shoots me once with a pistol and drops me so yeah plus the fire rate on that thing is so slow that a slug and a snail and a tortoise can outrun the bullets in that thing of course, then you've got your stereotypical sniper rifles. So you're going to get those uber elite retarded kids that are doing a 360 no scope bollocks. And half the maps are so small. Let, let, let's actually get into the maps for a minute here. But before I do that, uh, your typical Black Ops 2 loadout, your attachments slots are unlocked before you even unlocked any attachments. Uh, and you can't use your unlock tokens because your unlock token, the, the, the uh, items themselves are still level locked. So even if you did waste an unlock token to uh, unlock the item, you still can't equip it. Uh, of course, uh, the XM53 launcher from uh, Modern Warfare 3 and the Black Cell, again from Modern Warfare 3. Still rehashing old shit. Specials, of course, is your combat knife, 
from Black Ops 1. Yes, this does shoot blades. Yes, it will kill. Pistols, of course. You've got the MR6. Uh, stupidly overpowered pistol. And then you've got the fully automatic crappy one. And then the one that's supposed to be better than the first, but it's actually not. Just like in Black Ops 2. Looking at you, 45. So pretty much that's really it for weapons, of course. Then you've got your perks. Again, they're all still... All, all the decent perks are still locked. Uh, this is a new one, Six Sense. This is basically to aid campers. And that's all it ever does, is aid campers. You get a little uh, red arrow indicator on your minimap that uh, shows where the enemy is that's in close proximity to you. Then, of course, you've got your fast hands. Uh, again, why give such a shitty perk at the beginning uh, when hardwired is so much better? Most importantly, hardwired is actually broken. Uh, immune to counter UAV, power core, EMP grenade, smoke screens will not trigger proximity based lethals or tacticals. Reduce your digital imprint against enemy trackers and six sense perk. And then, of course, you've got your gun ho, hip fire, your weapon. Deploy equipment and throw grenades while sprinting, which never works. Uh, literally, this this puck does not work. Uh, you'll see uh, here in a while. Enemy awareness and blast suppressor. Uh, engineers crap. The only decent one here that you'll want want to take is either tactical mask or dead silence. And unfortunately, you can't get dead silence because the level cap in the game currently is level thirty four. So you'll only be able to get up to Tactical Mask, and everyone knows Tactical Mask is the better one um, from Black Ops 2. Re greatly reduces uh, uh, concussions and whatnot. Um, and of course, uh, the Shock Charge. Why is the Shock Charge the last thing to unlock at 47? What the hell? It should be, uh, I believe, the Black Hat from, again, the Black Hat from uh, Black Ops 1. Skipped Black Ops 2. It's now here. The trophy system from Black Ops 2 is here. Uh, the smoke screen again is annoying as hell. So pretty much that's it. I've got a custom set of custom loadouts. Uh, of course, the Semtex. Now, if this is one of the issues I'm going to have, and you're going to see it in game here. Um, in fact, you're actually going to see some gameplay and watch me suck. Before we get to that, I want to show you how to get to the option screen. There's no options. Oh, you click on this little gear? No. What do I do? You click menu. Then options. What the fuck is with mini options within mini options? And then you go to audio. Let's listen to the music for a quick few seconds. Now, you want to know what comes to mind the moment I hear that music? Huge, great, big Titans. Because if you actually play Titanfall, that's one of the tracks that's been heavily remixed. They're fucking using Titanfall's music. So no, this isn't Titanfall, is it? The fact that you get to select a specialist, like you do a Titan. Still. I'm going to find a quick match real quick. I'm going to do a team deathmatch. Now bear in mind, I don't have the world's most powerful PC. And of course, everyone's taking the female assassin, as you can see, because she's the most broken. I'm gonna take Team Deathmatch. Now look at the textures. CDP, get out there and get the win. Spotter neutralized. Hostile oh. UAV spotted. Hostile UAV spotted. Again. Now, one of the issues I have, just like that, is if I'm a mech, oh, and that's another terminate. thing, the spawn flips, see? Because a retard came into our spawn. Oh, that UAV above. Now, check out the parkour. Clearly inferior.
Shot out. See? Someone got flipped, and they will spawn on top of you with no way to defend yourself. And of course, check, check out the network. Oh, I just got shot. Killed with a Titan ability. And you're thinking, what? Yeah. That was a Hostile good UAV shot. spotted. Come on, and of course, the fucking buildings are always in the way. The maps are too small. Tip is discharge ready. Hostile hellstorm overhead. Hostile UAV above. They've got now they've literally spawn split us. Thank you, try hard with your fucking can confirm. Say dead instantly. SMGs, for some reason, regardless of their fire rate, is an instant kill even over fucking shotguns. Cyborg terminate. Frag, move, move! Outright. UAV inbound. We failed in our objectives. Stand by for reassignment. What are we? Recruits? And as you can see, this is supposed to be a gun-based game, and you're not seeing it. Look at how many hits it takes for an AR to kill you, compared to how many hits it takes for an SMG to kill you. And the fact that the maps are completely... I'll show you another map before I get into it, and of course I was top of my team. So it's not like I suck with a KDR of 1.44. That's the best KDR on my team and second best compared to the one the guy at the top at 2.0. And I was just using a shotgun and I came into that game late, guys. So that should tell you something. And of course, your typical COD overlay, which is where you get to pick your next map. Uh, I'm gonna play on EVAC, one of the most broken maps in the game, again. You can change your, your, your score streaks, but guess what? They're all level capped. So quite literally, you're stuck using the counter UAV, the Hellstorm, and the Talon. So, yeah. Kind of sucks. Yeah, other players have score streaks unlocked because we actually had, uh, as you saw during that match, the one who just left, he was in, in, in his... 30s, he's ranked 30s ish because you saw he had tactical mask on. So the fact, oh, and this is another thing the matchmaker will put you up with PlayStation, uh, uh, with uh, console players who have 100% aim assist. So mouse and keyboard versus 100% aim assist. And as you can see, a uh, uh, three of the same uh, Mercs. Death Again, match. I honestly think that the Mercs themselves should be. Uh, uh, limited to one per type each team very similar to how league of legends does it you're authorized to engage now listen to how my ready meet the titan full parkour system <laughs> and that just fucked up so i just got to shake it off a wall now you think okay why can't i climb up that wall if I can parkour, why can't I climb up that wall? Uh, 
see. Again, and that's another thing they keep doing. Oh, I'm just going to keep camping. Because, you know, that's clearly the superior thing to do, right? Tiled down. Again, SMG. SMGs drop you quicker than a shotgun, as you just guys saw. Here you go. That's a teammate running with a fully automatic sniper rifle. Grenade! Oh. RPG inbound. UAV inbound. <laughs> Of course. Again, the parkour system seriously needs to be updated. Think about it. If I'm a mech that can defy gravity, why is it I can only throw a grenade? Engineer like, down. I have nothing. Saying. Again, that's all they ever do. They find the corner of a map and camp. And just call in UAV after UAV after UAV after UAV. That's not a skill. There you go. See? Rapid firing bolt action sniper rifles. Hostile UAV spotted. See? There she is. Camping the spawn. Which forced us to flip. And my Titan full power hasn't powered up yet. Tip is charged. Now it has. And I, I don't care what anyone says. Incoming RPG! But it's tactical! What? There you go. And that's her Titan ability. That's an instant kill. Ow. And there she is. Camping our spawn. Ag again. And that's all that bitch is gonna do. It's camp there. Again, they've broken their own game. And as you can see, does this map even look anywhere? Outright oh. down. And another thing, can you see the melee? There, you elbow. Hostile hellstorm overhead. There you go. Now, why add parts of a map like that that you can't use? And that's another thing that happens. See? You see what I'm saying? The parkour system is broken. You'll die more to parkour than you will. Hostile UAV above. And of course. Only one that has uh, an RPG. Hostile talent detected. See? Do you see that shit? Point blank to that skinny bitch's fucking face, and she's fine. And let me guess, little, little camping bitch. Oh, for God's back. sake, of course. You stand there for 20 seconds, see? This is me trying to get my fucking rocket launcher out. Do you see how bad that is? You can't lock onto a talent. Well, apparently you can, but oh, look, it has flares. Again.
now they're all gonna they're all camping up over there. See, we There's no winning this. Again. Black Ops RTB for debrief. Camping we got always school fucking kids. wins. Schooled. Camping always fucking wins in this game. There, there is no more gunplay. It, it might as well just... There you go. Did you see that stupid fucking uh. slide shit? See? And that moron was so fucking blind, he couldn't even see a person behind him. But apparently a shockwave has a a, a, a larger... Dis there you go. Kenna, whatever your fucking name is. Little dyke right there. All, all that little bitch did was find a corner and camp. Find a corner and camp. Find a corner and... Yeah, 22 and 4. That makes you legit. No, it doesn't. It makes you a fucking retard. And again, the maps are completely misleading, as you saw. There's too much uh, um, emphasis on, on, on players bumping into each other. In the middle of a... I, I, you guys saw, I was in the middle of a parkour run, and another friendly was on that same wall, and then immediately knocked me off. Okay, if you're going to keep using physics, okay, physics will tell you um, a, a, a body in motion will have more kinetic energy than a body not in motion. That's how fucking bullets work. But no. So you won't stick to one, but you won't, you, you no, you're being nitpicky like you're Russians, okay? Trust me, World War Two. Just look at some Soviet designs and ask yourself how the fuck did that country even manage? How does it even still manage to exist even today? Oh no, it doesn't. Chernobyl. But still. Point is, this game. If this is even an inkering of what direction they're planning on taking the Black Ops franchise, I'm sorry, try hard. You've just lost a, a player who has put in hundreds of hours in both Black Ops 1 and 2. I, I do mean this. This, this game has killed Black Ops. If this is even an inkering of what you have planned for this game. You have taken the worst of Modern Warfare, the absolute worst uh, uh, of Titanfall, crammed it together in a shit can, shoved it in a paint shaker and poured this out, put it onto a disc or a digital download in this case, and proceeded to think that this is a fucking game. It's not. Okay, this is not a game. This is a fucking sham. This is a blatant fucking ripoff of Titanfall. You just don't have the fucking balls to put Titans in your fucking game. And another thing, the whole parkour system. Why is it that if I am supposed to have cybernetic implants, as you can see here, the knees, the ankles, my arms... Why is it I throw a grenade like I'm a five-year-old in an ML in a major league baseball game? Okay, and why is it I jump like I weigh ten thousand fucking pounds? Well, it, 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 it makes absolutely no fucking sense. There are areas of a map that, according to your own parkour system, should be readily available for me to jump and use, but you can't, as you saw, because. They're completely fucking misleading. There is invisible clip zones that you will hit that will stop bullets, that will bounce grenades like your own flashbang that you saw at the beginning of the game. I aimed for the window, threw it, it bounced off an invisible clip zone on the window. There was no glass, it just bounced. Poor fucking map layout, poor fucking map design, just poor fucking gunplay, and the fact that every two and a half to two minutes, depending on what perk you have, I might add, you get to call in a fucking Titan ability. Uh, hello? That's fucking Titanfall! Quite literally, all Call of Duty Black Ops 3 is, is a sad, cheap, one hung low, cheap Chinese market on a Saturday fucking morning before the cops show up, let me just throw out my wares, sell you whatever fucking one hung low thing I've got that's a blatant fucking rip off of something and then boogie out of there with your money. Because that's all what this is. Now, of course, the digital deluxe version. What do you get for your money? And 
everyone keeps saying, but it's back. No, it's not. Everybody knows the not the last three to six months of a game's development is all about DLC, DLC, DLC. Don't believe me? Why the fuck is there already a season pass for you to pay for? 50 bucks for, for a game. You're telling me they haven't already worked out at least two map packs? You're talking out your fucking ass. Okay? So, this is basically the final thing you're going to get with this game. Less the single player. And everybody doesn't play Call of Duty for the single player, do they? Well, except for me, of course. I actually quite enjoyed both Call of Duty, uh, uh, both Black Ops and Modern Warfare storyline. Not so much the zombie storyline, because that's just fucking stupid. Buffy the Vampire Slayer, really? Try hard? You tried too hard there, my friend. But, no. To buy the game, it's full on $60 right now. To get the game and the, uh, 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 the a season pass is $100, or it's $50 for just the season pass. They're already peddling their wares in this game. This is not a beta. Okay, this is not a beta. This this is just Triarch's way of saying, "Hey, do you want this? Here you go." They're, 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 this is the gaming equivalent of a crack dealer giving you a free hit. That's all what this is, right here. This is all what it is: is a crack dealer giving you a free hit. And. You tried too hard here, Triarch. You tried too hard. Remember, work smarter, not harder. All you blatantly did was rip off Titanfall. You took Advanced Warfare and the Black Ops franchise, and this is their bastard child. A blatant fucking rip off of Titanfall. I'm surprised that there isn't an, attri an attrition mode. Go to core. I'm surprised there's not an attrition mode. I really do. I, I am surprised that there is not an attrition mode. If you know what attrition mode is, it's where two enemy teams have to kill uh, AI plat bots that spawn in. And whoever gets the most attrition points... Uh, uh, wins but you can also kill each other at the same time so it's pretty much kind of safeguard oh look it's right fucking there safeguard pretty much it's just attrition the only difference is is that the they're 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 robots and non-combative as where in titanfall they are so again that literally was the last nail in the coffin but you're not looking at the social menu no no i'm no just just no no no. Oh wow. Emblems, calling cards. What's new there? Clan tag. What's new there? Paint shop where you can make your own skins now. We've been asking for that since Modern Warfare 3. It's taken you this long? It has taken you this fucking long? Are you kidding me? And Gunsmith. Basically, it just lets you prestige the weapon to get extra uh, uh, unlocks early. That's fucking it. That's all it does. So... What 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 am I missing here? If you guys think I'm missing something, please point it out to me. I mean, look, there's already players that have already customized their think their their banners and that because they've paid for the game. Once you pay for the game, it unlocks all that social stuff. So pretty much, this isn't a a a a. Uh, so you can also limit your player count. And this is another thing that pissed me off. Okay. If you go to your options and then go to your network, look at the network code. Network code is atrocious. Of course, I'm gonna blur out my uh, connection type and whatnot, my IP and everything here. But look at the network code. It's absolutely fucking atrocious. As you saw during the match, the whole jitter jatter, wiggly wiggly everywhere. Now, granted, I don't have the world's most powerful PC. I'm not Total Biscuit. I don't have Titan Blacks. I don't have 32 gigs of RAM on fucking 100 SSDs in RAID whatever. Okay? I've got a simple X58. Yes, X58. Not an X99. Not an X97. An X58 system. 12 gigs of RAM using 
a GTX 660 two gigabyte card. And you can clearly see, I can run the game comfortably. More than comfortably. More than comfortably. See, following settings. I can run the game comfortably. Yes, I have three monitors on this machine. But as you can see, You see? I'm actually going to put that back up to one. But as you can see, guys, I can comfortably run the game with ease. So it's not my video, it's not video lag. Not video lag at all. Of course, this is beta version 3.9.22.4, but still, it's not beta. When you've got less than three months left before your game goes live, this isn't beta. They're not gonna take the thing back to code and fix half the fucking shit that's the issue. I mean, the textures alone. Yes, I've only got two gigs of uh, video memory. I don't have, you know, four, six, eight, 10, 12 gigs of video memory like some reviewers will have. I've got what's more commonly known as the Average Gamers PC. So this is what I'm gonna name this. I'm gonna name this the Average Gamers Review. AGR, Average Gamers Review. <sighs> Meet Call of Duty, Titanfall 2. Because it's in Black Ops anymore. It's basically Titanfall. So, this is my opinion, of course, guys. The game's currently, well, the demo is currently available for you to download on Steam. It's free. Give it a try. It's 11 and a half gigs. Download. Uncompressed, it's uh, 23 to 27 gigs. Depending on your network configuration, hard drive configuration, etc., 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 etc. If you uh, run compression or not. Um... Other than that, guys, what do I really think of this game? I think it's shit. Plain and simple. I, I think they're going in the completely wrong direction. You're rewarding people who camp and punishing people who play the game. Just, why? Why, guys, why? So I hope you enjoyed the review, guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the video description. Leave them in the comment section down below the video. And as always, guys, I'll see you in the next one.